top 10 tips for dancers, video two. YouTube. Welcome back to another video. My name is Austin. You're watching Austin's vlogs and thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be top 10 tips for dancers video 2. If you didn't watch that first video, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Um, and these are going to be 10 completely separate tips from those last 10. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because the last one did really well. It seemed that you guys liked that video. So I'm going to make a second one. Tip number one, don't get discouraged if you can't get something. Uh, everything takes time, all moves take time, all technique takes time. Just take your time. Don't quit, don't get discouraged. Uh, stay positive, you will figure it out eventually. Tip number two, you need to have a reason for why you're in dance class. You have to have a reason for why you're there, whether it just be that you love dance, um, you want to prove something to yourself, uh, you have to have a reason. My reason was always that I want to be the best that I could be, so I always tried harder and harder and harder, and that got me through it, um, especially when I had times where I would get discouraged. Tip number three, and I see this a lot, um, don't compare yourself to other dancers, whether they be at your studio or just worldwide comparing yourself to other dancers. Uh, it's not helpful because there will always be someone who's better than you. There will always be someone who's worse than you. Uh, it is not your job or anyone's job to compare the two. Um, anywhere you look, anywhere you look, there will always be someone who's better than you. So you can't use that as a comparison. The only person that you should be comparing yourself to is yourself and where you were compared to where you are now. Tip number four, always aim high but expect nothing. You should never be at an award ceremony thinking to yourself, I'm gonna get first, I'm gonna place, I'm gonna get this uh, score because you never know. It's always it, it's always biased, um, especially with judges. Uh, you know, every person is looking for something different, so every single judge is you know, looking for something different. They Maybe they don't like you, maybe they don't like your style, maybe they don't like the choreography. It's nothing in reflection of you, but you should never be expecting anything, but you should always be trying your absolute hardest. Tip number five is understand that dance is hard work. It's not gonna be handed to you, it's not gonna be easy. You will have to put the work in. Tip number six, get around the right people. You wanna be around people who enjoy dance as much as you do and are working as hard as you would like to work. You should always be the I heard a saying back in high school that you should always be the weakest link in your chain. Um, just a quick little story to go along with that. Uh, if you run a mile with a bunch of people who are a lot slower than you, you will win every single time hands down. But if you run with someone or with people who are a lot faster than you, you may lose every single time, but your time will get better. So the important part is that you're improving. So get around the right people, get around people who can help you, people who can push you, people who are doing better than you are uh, so that you can get better. Tip number seven, uh, eliminate, ex eliminate excuses. You don't want to have an excuse for why you didn't do something. Um, you need to make the time and saying that you didn't have the time because uh, in reality you were watching a TV show really isn't a good reason. So eliminate those excuses. You have to make the time. Find the time. Don't, don't say that you don't have the time. You have to make the time. Tip number eight, take all the classes that you can as a dancer. It is important to be versatile, and especially when you're starting out, if you're just now starting out, um, expand as much as you can. If you're a dancer already, and you've been doing one or two styles like your entire life, remember it's never too late to become versatile, and versatile dancers are good dancers. Tip number nine, stop, don't be shy. Stop worrying about what other people in the room are thinking about you because they're not focused on you. They're focused on what they're doing, what they're learning, especially in a class setting. So don't be worried about them. Don't be shy. Be outgoing. Be in the front. You need to put yourself out there if you're going to be a dancer. This is my final tip for today. Put yourself 
at a high standard. You need to hold yourself at a high standard. Uh, the less you think about yourself, the less you're going to do, the less you're going to be uh, encouraged, the less that you're going to try. So make sure that you hold yourself really, you know, really, really high on the bar. All right, guys. So that was my last tip for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, drop a like, drop a comment, uh, hit that subscribe button, and like always, guys. Until next time, peace out.